currently I can't be trusted with a proper camera. Um, so instead I've been given one of these little guys. The idea is to sort of give you guys a glimpse into what goes on behind the scenes at Thinking Anglers. I'm incredibly lucky that um, I get to spend quite a bit of time with some great anglers on some incredible venues fishing for some equally incredible carp. So that's sort of one side of it. Also, product, we receive a lot of product related questions on social media, um, sort of asking for advice, sort of what's coming out, release dates, are we working on this, etc, etc. So it's, it's going to be a great way to sort of keep your finger on the pulse in that respect. And not just that, sort of see how how our anglers sort of implement certain things into their own fishing um, and hopefully hopefully a few giggles along the way as well so I'm really excited um, and incredibly honoured to be given the opportunity to try and sort of bring this to to life so um, yeah and what better place to start I'm currently surrounded by water everywhere I look uh, looking for one of one of those anglers um, let's see if I can't give you a little look through here Yeah, what a spot. Like a kid in a sweet shop. Yeah, it's a big bit of water. It's just everywhere, everywhere you turn. So yeah, so I'm gonna put this thing down. I'm gonna get on the blower and see if I can't actually work out where this angler is. Found him. Say hello, Marcus. All right. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> uh, so much? No, nah, nothing. It's bleak, mate. Yeah. It's January, innit? But yeah, I might um, get in that boat in a bit and just bite across down the river in the lake. I'm on the back of the wind. It's a nice set of snags all along there, and I'm sure there'll be a few car piled about that there. So I might go and try that for a night. Sounds good, mate. Yeah. Give it a go, eh? We've got some stuff to do first, though. Let's crack on with it. <laughs> <laughs> Drop Marcus off a nice new camera bag. Uh, got some bits that we need to get some kind of uh, in use type photography, so. Yeah. We've already, we've already received quite a few messages about this one, actually. About what sort of goes in it and. Because it's hard to gauge off a website, but let's have a little look at what Marcus has got in these. What are you packing, mate? What are you packing, bro? What, a brand new nice camera bag you yeah. bought down Need to roll that in the mud a bit, I think. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Uh, 6D. 6D. Little uh, flash in there. What lens? Uh, it's a 24 to 105. It's quite a chunky lens, then. Yeah, yeah mate. And then in this little pocket here, just polarising filter. Huh, and my man. little uh, remote for cool, uh, cool. self takes. So it gives, gives guys a little uh, little clue as to sort of what you can get in there. That's obviously a big body. I don't think uh, the majority of anglers are uh, any crop sensor. You're probably going to get another lens in there easily. So, um, yeah, nicely padded as well. So, yeah, cool. So, you were here nice and early this morning. Um, obviously, I've done some little bits with you um, in regards to some some product sort of photography and stuff. But you've been looking for quite a long time now, and it's sort of what well, it's twenty past three. You're not sure. And of... I have seen absolutely nothing. Exactly. So what what do you do in those situations? Like you personally, like. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to trying to figure it out myself now. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Um, to be fair, I think I've only got a night, I've got to be off early, so, you know, it's, for me, I think just a couple singles, just, yeah, a couple singles out for tonight. So is this, this an area where you've had, had fish from previously, is it? I haven't actually, I've not fished this with much. Um, so yeah, but it just gives you a good view of the whole lake. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I think a couple of singles for tonight, and then I just I stay up fairly late so I can hear anything during the night. Because this time of year, you, yeah. you tend to hear them late at night. Um, 
I want to fish a car park lake. You know, I was, I was in them showing like two o'clock in the morning. You know, and that was a freezing cold January night. Um, and they were showing it too. So, yeah, I'll just keep my ears open tonight. See if I, see if I can hear anything. And, um, well, you're back after work tomorrow, so if you did, did hear something tonight, it'd give you something to go well, off for yeah, tomorrow. Or, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's not an easy lake to sort of move through until you actually have to boat to a couple of the swims. So, yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, where I do want to be is over the back, I think. Um, sort of back of the winds, a bit of front calm over there. Nice sort of set of snags. But I've got to be off early in the morning, so. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's a couple of hours, it's going to be dark, isn't it? And then, yeah. Like I say, you've got to be up first thing, so. Yeah, interesting. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I think a couple of things tonight and, and just see if we can hear anything. We'll see anything like the first light tomorrow. And we can go from there. Empty. Delivery for a man like Barry. See, kick a top up. It's the same. The old green. You didn't want anyone seeing them. Get on them. Worried about using six in the wind. Barry knows. <laughs> nice. Fully loaded. Boat. Half jacket. Safety first, kids. You are a good boy, Burger. Yeah, you are, Burger. No wrecking would be complete. I can't wreck you without a uh, sounder. It's right, you can see the bottom, but you can't. <laughs> Good days. Right. So it's not just the perch fishing, is it, mate, that we're here for? No, mate, I wouldn't bring a, uh, an echo sounder out perch fishing. Um, that's mad, isn't it, on this like, tight bend and that. So you only got to come through once with the, with the boat and echo, really. I mean, you may end up using the boat to, to traverse to your swim sort of thing, but the echo sounder only really bring on the first trip. And already, you know, it's proved its worth. Within two minutes of leaving the van, we, uh, we found a big deep hole, like 12 foot, um, adjacent to an island, like a real odd spot, but you sort of spot that you'd, you could bait and drop in at midnight and, you know, you well see the old tip whipping round in the morning. So no, it's not just perch fishing, mate. We're just doing a bit of a, it's a nice excuse, isn't it, the perch fishing. Went out this morning, caught a few live baits, um, and we're just having a little trot down the river. This is a, we're actually on a, a bit of Thames tributary. We're not on the main river Thames. We're on one of the tributaries, of which there are many. Um, you know, off the top of my head, the Loddon, everyone's heard of the Loddon, the Ember, the Mole, the Way, the Colne. There's, there's a goodly few. And um, all of which are well worth exploring uh, in their own right for a bit of carp fishing. Um, I, I've moved recently uh, to Surrey. So I've got a whole new world of stuff to explore that I just haven't done in the past. Um, but this little river, I came and looked at it a while back, and it just looked right for a bit of, a bit of perch fishing. Um, so you know, what, what do you do? Well, use, use the time, use the time wisely. Like, we haven't really done a lot. Like, it took us five minutes to blow the boat up. I've already got all the kit, obviously. The batteries are always charged, ready for France or wherever. Um, so yeah, we boated down, blown the boat up. That took 10 minutes max. Throw it in, load the top, and we're off. We're going to go as far as we can. We basically started from where 
this tributary joins the River Thames and we are going to carry on as far as I can go before I hit a lock or a weir um, to give me an idea of how long this particular stretch is. Um, with a view, you know, like I said, not just for the perch fishing, with a view to coming back and maybe doing a bit of carp fishing this year. Um, you just never know, you know, although this little particular bit for the last sort of half a mile it doesn't look like the river did further back down river it looks a bit more on a chubby sort of river and not very carpy but you know you need to explore everything so we're going to go as far literally as far as we can get before we hit a lock um, and i know the locks will start at some point but i couldn't see on the map exactly where once we get to the end then we're going to turn around and drift all the way back downstream set up a couple of perch rods and like you know any little bit that looks like there might be a perch or two about we'll just drift past with the floats and see if we can catch something um, try and kill two or three birds or one stone as it were um, so yeah lovely like Bert's having a lovely time we're having a lovely time it's just different isn't it you go walking around lakes your whole life it's just lovely to get the dinghy out and go for a little mooch about we've seen no anglers um, and as it stands all of this that we've looked at from where the river meets the Thames all the way up and here and beyond is owned is owned run by two fishing clubs and there's a large bit of bank in between that have no fishing clubs mainly because it's real nice pub private houses we've driven past a couple already that must be several million quid's worth like it's beautiful you know so that's the plan we're going to keep going I, I, you know I can see now probably for half a mile up river and I can't see any bends um, I'm guessing we've probably got another half an hour of meandering up before we meet a stop and then our fun begins, we can turn around and start our way back and uh, you'll be seeing lots of us on the way back because we're going to be stopping and having little goes and pointing out stuff because like, you know, there's a good chance I'm going to end up filming here for carp because it's so different and because I don't know anything about it. I don't know anybody that's fished here really, I don't know anything about the amount of carp that's meant to be in here and that's the magic of fishing, like you don't know. When you know, fish is dull. When you don't know, fish is magnifique. So I'll, uh, I'll catch you in a bit. So, Joseph, we're being a bit buffeted here because we are. The river has, uh, has got shallower and shallower until it's literally like, you know, we're clipping the prop even with us almost out the water. So, what we're going to do, we've seen all we need to see. I reckon we've come, what do you reckon, Joe, a mile and a half? Mile? We're going a while, we? About a mile, anyway. Um, some lovely spots. I wanted to come up here specifically because on the map I saw that there was a sewage inflow. And having fished sewage inflows for years, I know how good they can be. But this part of the river has become more of a wild bit of river. Even though it's navigable, it's clear that really it isn't in anything more than a dinghy. Um, it looks very good for big chub through here and probably a few barbel, but mm, not what I would call carpy bit of river. Yet the bit where we started really is. But that bodes well, that means you've got a long stretch that the fish can be in. Um, the longer you got without interruptions like locks and stuff, uh, the more chance you've got of there being a few carp about and, and that's all we're looking for really it's just a nice bit of river that we can bait up you've got to remember it's february now we're only out on a on a bit of a recce um carp fishing's still a fair few months off yet and uh there's plenty of other stuff to do in the in-between times <laughs> it's a bit jungly up here but yeah the flow is you know it's swift it looks great for a big chub or two um it doesn't really look that perchy so we haven't got tons of live baits, so what we're going to do is save them for when we get back down nearer the nice looking bits, then we're going to take it easy and plod through and see if we can catch something before we go back to the van. Well this is interesting, we've just come all that way up river, like an hour's worth or something, drifting up. We've got, found this lovely old bridge, but as we got to it, just this side of the bridge, check this out. This is the sort, this is the power of having something like this at your disposal, just as, just as a tool for wrecking. Like this drops down to 20 feet, would you believe it, on a stretch of river that's rarely gets above six or seven, like, mad, eh? What a mad spot. I wonder why it's there like that. Just a great big hole, and then it starts to come up again. No fish in it, nothing like that showing up on the sounder, but I'm sure there is some fish in it. Looks really good, doesn't it? Tiny pike. Good bite though, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> Wicked. Oh. 
Robert's keen to see. Uh, always wants to see, don't I? Shame I can't see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did he have you? No, he didn't have me, but I had my hand in a terrible spot, so I let him go. Tricky one, isn't it? Film is tricky and another little one. Look, good bite though, wasn't it? There you go, Bert. Don't try and eat it. <laughs> Bert was like, I'll have a go on that. Coming out the way, you. There you go, as easy as that, back in the van. What a lovely afternoon. No time wreckying is ever wasted. It was a bit of a palaver blowing the boat up, but it took, what, 10 minutes? And then, like, you know. A nice couple of hours all the way down the stretch or up the stretch as I say all the way back down again yeah it looks good we've set ourselves up a lovely little bit of fishing I think um, yeah like I said it's February you know what I mean um, there's a fair ways to go till spring but I'll keep coming back I might even try and have a few nights before the season runs out but if not it's a nice bit of spring prep ready for the start of the season wicked would you Adam and Eve it They've actually trusted me with a proper camera. Look at that. What could go wrong? The purpose of my little filming excursion down in Kentshire is this stuff, the SBX. I've got to be really careful because if anyone knows I've got this in my pocket, there's a good chance I could get mugged. So I'm going to put it away now, turn this screen around. So yeah, so I'm down with Oz, uh, SBX is on the agenda, like I said it's uh, going to be available come March so we want to try and get a little promotional video just to sort of let you guys give you a, give you a little look into to why Oz likes it mainly, that's who I'm with, you should have guessed that by Kentshire, but yeah why he likes it along with so many other guys that have played a, a, a pivotal role in, uh, in testing it so yeah it's something very exciting like I say I better be very careful because I will probably get mugged Oz is currently I'm gonna flip this back around now Oz is currently uh, sat in there having a conversation he does love a chat he's on the old blower but um, yeah exciting stuff good morning what a beautiful morning it is too um, Currently what, 8 o'clock, uh, the day is Saturday and I'm on my way down to the south coast to shoot a rig feature, no, not a rig feature, a magazine feature with uh, one of our anglers, Christopher Whitehall, otherwise known as Jester, but um, yeah, I've probably got what, another half hour to go, so Catch you in a bit, should be fun. Barry Big Bobbins. Early for that, innit, mate? It's too late now, mate. Four cans deep. <laughs> Midday. Pubs are open. <laughs> Hey boys and girls, what do you reckon? Should Jester do a vlog? I think so. Are you ready for drinking carling, barbecues and thrashing spoms into the abyss? Vote now. I'm anti it by the way. If the public wants, the public may get. <laughs> Such a tiny kettle for a big man. Teeny tiny. What's the screwdriver for? Best peg known to man, mate. Basically, I've owned them since I was 14 years old, maybe 13 years old. Stole them out of my dad's tackle box and they're still straight. You can pull one out if you want and have a look. And they are as straight as they were on the day I nicked them from my dad's toolbox, mate. So better than your normal 
Better than thing. your normal peg. They go in the ground better, they stay straight, and they're ergonomic on the hand. So there we go, top tip. Don't use crap pegs, use screwdrivers. Love it. Plus as well, if you've got a few of those, you can use in the pilot hole, your other crap pegs in, and they won't bend as much. There we go. We're gonna get a little bit of footage with Jester going full send. It's not even full send, is it? Nah, it's casual 173, boys. Casual 173, all right. Casual 173, cocky. Alright, hold on. So much for the flippy screen saving <laughs> laying down in mud and water. <laughs> you ready then, cameraman? Ready. Camera B. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Mate. Huh? Might have bit the clip. <laughs> what? A bit too hard? A bit too hard, mate. About 30 <laughs> yards in the air. <laughs> Hero yeah. window, aren't I? Secret mix. Munger mix. Munger mix. All munger. The go long mix. Gotta have clean hands, boys. Hey, and girls. <laughs> right. Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah. Three, two, one. Because every time you do that, though, it's like spooling up, isn't it? Very much, yeah. <laughs> it's a thing, mate. It takes as long to reel in as it does anything, mate. Yeah. I'm just bowling up 300 metres. What's the most bait you've ever put out in that one? Spawn for about six hours straight. Six hours? Yeah, in the winter time. Christ. Hard work, boys and girls. Especially when you're getting old like me. Well, when I was younger. Getting old? Yeah, I was 38 now. <laughs> when I was 28, it was easy. It was fun. Not so fun anymore now I'm getting old. Your body don't like it as much. Hold on, I'm just Young man's game, just mate, range fishing. Trying to eye up my next shot here, mate. Right, this is the last one. The last one. Just for the cameras. So hold on. Technically, I put out five kilos yesterday. I don't hold on. Anymore. Where's your spot? Let's see how accurate he is. No pressure, Jester. No pressure. So hold on, where's the spot? Let me try and find somewhere nice and flat to pop this down. I'm on matey's bivy. Wow, you got a bit of crosswind, so I can't guarantee. Right, go, so, mate. matey's bivvy, little accuracy test, 170. Obviously, I'm at a slightly different angle, so it's going to be there or thereabouts, but let's have a look. I'll stand here. It's all right, mate. Ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, now's our mate's bivy, <laughs> don't you? You heard. Well, no trip to Jester will be complete without a Carlin. Cheers, boy. And some nice food. <laughs> it's right to you in there, mate. You're getting shinnied out, mate. <laughs> need some more beef in there, brother. Beef. Boy, Ainsley Harrow and I, Dizzy Heights makes a difference, mate. Percy Pepper, or he's got a sprinkle from a height. So what we're going to call this cheesy coal. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Have it, Ainsley. Oh, she's got some nice charry now, boy. Oh, mate, it's going to be hard to hold one hand. Light me up, Chester. Crikey, I'm going to need both hands for this. Yes, that is the perfect ending. 
to an enjoyable day with Jester. We're down at Old Dinton once again, Black Swan, to witness the clash of the Titans. And yeah, cashy has got one, so I'm gonna go give man with that. Yeah, secret edges, mate. Behind the scenes. What saying? Secret what? edges. Why do you put it on upside down? Ooh. Everyone puts the colour on top, don't they? Do how you want to do it, mate. It's like the little brown kickers. Very nice, very, very nice. I actually didn't make that look alright, did I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a it, weren't like that that yet, it weren't like that yesterday. <laughs> it looked like you've done it before. Four months off and you get rusty. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you to that one. <laughs> I see like... I walk around the other way. Oh, you wanna stay, stay and watch the fight? <laughs> the root of the carnage, the root cause, wiping out the other rod, still can't grumble, see it's important to get everything organised before you get the fish out, get ready, camera's ready, no dramas then. Yeah, most importantly, get the rod back out and the money first. Lovely colours, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Not normally buzz up for a common, but I am with this one. Yeah, um, it's up, it's up enough. It's not on it. There we go. Ah, oh, you put this thing out. Yeah. <sighs> Got cramp in my back it. leg. <laughs> <laughs> Look where it is, my leg. There we go. <laughs> 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 right, yeah, we're good. Right, good. So 27, 26. I'm going to say 28 just to be different. Oh, it might be a bit bigger. Ooh, 29. Sure, 29.8, mate. Yeah. 28.6. Yeah, mate. You saw it. Oh, mate, what is in my well? Oh, my God, what is in my waders? What is that? <laughs> Right, I'm going to pop this down now. Can you see where my hook was? All the way through. 
Nick, just there, uh, all, the, all the way through, well, well, all the way through the lip, out the other side. Of the kicker. Yeah. They are very good. They are good, aren't they? Even if we are biased. The best out there, definitely. Tense, is he? Back he goes. You're on there, boy. Well done, mate. The action continues. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Cashy, you're a poaching. Take her, innit? Take her, mate. Liberty. I did say, mate, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Naughty. Turns up when it's warm, when we're coming out. <laughs> but all I want is a cup of tea. I will get a cup of tea at some point, I'm sure. Finally, three hours. Finally got a tea. Yeah. You've had that for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I'll send it to Dave. Nice one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, send it to Dave. I'm gonna. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Thank you. And Paul Anderson. Yeah. I must say, it's looking very nice out there. I might even get the rods out this afternoon. I've only done one night in six weeks. I think I deserve it. But with them two catching, it saves me going home just to get called up again, doesn't it, I guess? Yeah. Like buses. The Barry Brew. He's only gone and had another one. Ooh. He's happy. Not shaped to me. Cool one. Not one. That's one, mate. We've got the odd ones. Swip us up, mate. Bro.
See, unlike Cash, Miles is actually catching these from his own water. So. <laughs> Isn't that right, Barry? Let's see what it is. Twenty eight ten. Nice. Yeah, mate. Yeah. I'll give you that. Hundred percent. Yeah. We'll do we? Happy days. Quite the uh, chicken fajita that Jester knocked up, but um, tasty all the same, mate. C Cajun chicken, bit of coleslaw, salad, bush, and sweet chili wrap. Yes, please. Lots of rocking. Had an absolute mare, as per usual. But, worst case scenario. I've just scared them back over their way, so. It's just nice to be out. Titan one. Titan 2. Cumon. Well, that's that. I've dragged it out as long as I possibly could, really. Got to get on with the day, so pack down reel in go around and see those guys neither of them have had anything either so yeah it's a very different morning I guess the strains have been out there still it's been a couple show but yeah no action I've got to uh, not go see miles anyway and do uh, get a couple of shots for um for a magazine piece and then uh, head to the office but yeah I think the worst ways to start the day, I guess. Chefing. He's chefing, mate. Yeah, like another thing in spring, you know, about lightweight. I think we're a bigger fork in the summer. Got oh, you have I mean, to bring a bigger fork yeah, in the bigger summer? Yeah, fork in the summer. That's my spring lightweight when I'm moving around more. Stay mobile with a little fork. Walk. <laughs> All is quiet on the fishing front. Get in. She will do nicely. Wow. If you go down to the woods today, you may get a surprise. Because um, I'm here hiding in the bushes. But no, there is a good reason for that. Um, and if I spin this round, let's get used to this. I'm actually out here photographing some of the new products which are going to be available come March um, some of you guys may have seen this one floating about already floating about get it yeah. Um, but yeah so the Zig and Floater line um, to complement our growing Zig range naturally um, the SBX like I've already mentioned previously so many people excited about this one and uh, rightfully so and the last one is the Tint Link Tinted Fluorocarbon. That's going to be available in £20 and £25, so 0.45 and 0.50. Great for leaders and uh, yeah, a manner of different rigs, but yeah. So that is what I am currently doing. Got the old cover, the old cover up there, multi-purpose. Hey. 
blocking out the sun because it is a bit harsh. But yeah, so today is currently Friday. I've not got anything else on the agenda um, over the weekend unless I get a call out, but it is looking absolutely glorious out here. So there is a very good chance of that. There's already been some fish caught this week. Um, so yeah, like I say, there is a very good chance I could get a call and you guys might see me again yet. Free and I got a tripod, just gotta be really careful not to kick it. That's all. Um, but yeah, it is now Monday, very quiet weekend. Um, not really surprising. The weather yesterday was absolutely abysmal, um, just a really crap wintry day, so wet, just horrible. Um, I did get one message though off of uh, off of Miles, our oh, Barry requesting a McDonald's breakfast pretty early Saturday morning uh, which I politely declined um, but yeah other than that really really quiet I've got a busy week myself this week so well, busy-ish um, so yeah I thought I'd get the rods out tonight despite it being Valentine's Day the missus said yeah go on which sort of got me worried a bit I'm not gonna lie but um, I'm here so yeah I thought this would probably be a really good place or a really good day yeah I, I, Got a little bit of peace and quiet so a good place to wrap up part one of the behind the scenes vlogs video logs vlogs whatever you want to call them um please 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 give me a little bit of feedback because trust me this is not something that i ever imagined doing sitting here talking to a camera in my bivy um but ultimately it's for your enjoyment your entertainment so yeah, your feedback would be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, stuff that you'd like to see maybe going forward, things that you didn't like to see, or not just your like constructive stuff, um, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, but yeah, any feedback, guys, that would be uh, greatly appreciated. Obviously, don't forget to subscribe as well to our channel if you've liked any of our stuff. Um, and yeah hit that bell icon notifications is it the bell icon? I don't even know but I know I get notifications when my favourite channels release I'm pretty sure it's the bell icon but yeah do that and then yeah then you won't miss any because we've got quite a lot coming not only these but there's uh, some other guys that have been given these little handy cams um, and we've got some bigger projects uh, sort of in full flow if you like uh, yeah and you don't want to miss any of that because uh, it's going to be pretty good we're really excited about it and like i said ultimately it's for your your enjoyment your entertainment so get involved show show the love spread the love share the love it's valentine's day love but yeah why we're talking about uh video content uh some of you guys may have seen the return of the Through the Season series, which uh, was is done with Oz. He was very keen to get this back on track after the uh, C word. I'm not going to mention it, but um, and we managed to do that rather successfully. We've done it at the Milton Abbas uh, Fishery, which is absolutely amazing. Pardon me. Sorry, guys. Um, it was like sort of stepping back in time although I wouldn't really know too much about that because I am still very young but I trust Oz when he says it <sighs> yeah it was just amazing like the atmosphere uh, the fish just everything about it was was just insane it's just mega 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 place um, almost cheating to sort of point the camera down there but yeah it could have probably well most definitely uh, been a slightly different uh, film had I have not up completely. Um, the final morning, Oz actually uh, had a bit of a carve up, managing free fish in about an hour. Um, I was there on my own, camera gear still there, 
I could have literally bought it home for the whole team and I fluffed it. Literally like a fumbling idiot, I messed it up. And as a result, we couldn't use any of the footage. I had steamed up lenses, I had audio equipment not working, so I lost, lost audio. I had an audience, which probably didn't help because uh, I sort of cracked under the pressure. So yeah, so I just want to apologize to everyone because not only did I let myself down, I let my family down and more importantly I let all you guys down so I do apologize for that but I'm pretty sure Andy will be able to put the other fish which I was caught on that final morning over my mug around about now first one being a, uh, a small stocky uh, which we'd sort of photograph more for Wayne's records the fishery owners uh, records then Oz had an absolute corker of an 18 pounder what a worldy that one was um as you can imagine he was over the moon with that probably he probably wouldn't mind me saying it but i think it's probably his favorite fish of the trip um and then lastly he had the biggest of the trip which was a, a mid 30 mirror so obviously a result for any time of the year but for january outstanding so yeah oz everything else discussed discussed in that uh in that film was uh spot on and the proof was definitely in the pudding um as he did uh as he did uh show everyone but i um yeah up so you guys didn't actually get to see that but yeah hopefully this is a little bit of um sort of makes up for that slightly i think i think we owe it to wayne uh who owns the fishery because it's just an absolutely magnificent place and uh yeah so i do apologize apologize to everyone but yeah at least you got to see him now didn't you perfect I feel like a weight has been lifted. I feel light. I feel buoyant. Um, but yeah, so that is that. I'm actually going to wrap this up. I want to go out there. I want to watch the water. I can't see from here. I've sort of positioned myself out the wind. I know we're due to get a little bit of rain tomorrow as well. So that should make the early pack up nice and uh, enjoyable. But yeah, if you don't see me in the morning, it's because I blanked, which um, probably likely. Uh, I've got to be off here early. A lot of the bites last week, I know it's a different week, but a lot of the bites last week were um, sort of late on in the day, so, or, or sort of late on in the morning. So we'll see. You've got to be in it to win it. Um, but yeah, if you don't see me, I will see you next time. <laughs>